All right, what is up? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to MKU Prime Time. Hopping down to Division 4 this week. Division 3. Division 3? <laughs> Damn, it's literally been like 30 seconds and I've already cocked it. It's fine, it's fine dude. Uh, I've already had a bad week. I'm just recovering from an illness. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, Division 3. We've got Exodus versus... Team Rocket, e uh, Team Rocket Esports. Uh, I'm joined by Cooper, the one Hello, and only everyone. Cooper guy. Hello. Uh, the dynamic duo is back again. The cast. <laughs> Should be interesting. Looking at the lineups here, uh, there is a mistake. Well, mistake. There was a change um, in the lineups that we were informed with later. So TR Esports, Unai will not be playing, and they mm. were subbed out. They are being subbed out for Nando instead. Otherwise, the entire uh, lineup sheet should be accurate, as seen on screen. Uh, notable missing players uh, on the Exodus side, Jin and... Um, sorry, I just I'm completely blanking. Uh, and Kane, sorry. Yeah. Jin and Kane are not playing, despite having played the previous... Uh, the first two matches, at least last week. Yeah, yeah, we, we did briefly mention uh, before the stream went live how... Um... Jin, well, he's Jin, uh, in my opinion, Jin especially, is one of their better players. Um, but, I mean, their lineup, Lucas, Zuax, Maxi, Christian, Juni, and Horpy, that's still an alright lineup, all things considered. Uh, you've, you've, you've still got some names that can deal some good damage, you can uh, have some good front presence there. So, I think, uh, I think they've definitely got a good shot of, um, of doing some, yeah. uh, doing some damage to Team Rocket here. Yes, of course. I think uh, I think both teams have a good lineup. Um, I'm looking at like TR, it's a lot of former uh, EU two members that are playing mm, together. Yeah. So they've been playing together for a while. EX is kind of a team that's on the come up. I uh, should note that both teams lost their first match this week, despite going two and zero last week. They're both two and one going into this one. Um, I was mm. informed by Zuox that they did lose. Okay, so so. So both teams had an unfortunate start to the week, but one team it's not going to be quite as bad, the other team it's uh, not getting any better. Uh, <laughs> so obviously there can only be one winner. Uh, Sergius Moy, Sergius Moy, Alex, um, Sergi, Perijan, and uh, Nando. Nando, yeah. Same for there. Team Rocket Esports. Now Team Rocket, they've been around for a bit. Uh, I think you know, notably, from to my like to my knowledge, uh, since the start of MK8D, it's been over two years. I know for yeah. that. Yeah, I remember they had a thread on MK Boards before we moved to MK Central. Oh, did they? They had, they had a thread. I only remember this because one of the former MK Boards admins commented that. Hopefully they do well with the name and the tag. So I do remember them being around <laughs> at least, it's been at least since 2018. Yeah. Around the beginning of uh, MKA Deluxe makes sense. Exodus is a relatively new team. I think this is their own, only their second season. Um, yeah, I think so. I think that's their second Kaiser season. Group. Obviously they're, in, they're individual players have been around for a while. Like Christian's a former Equivote member. I believe Halfie was in WEC. Uh, WEC. And Lucas, I think, is really well. Yeah. Uh, that, that rings a bell. Um, but So it should be fine. And Serge, although TR's roster has changed, I think, quite a bit. Within yeah, I remember um, back in like 2018 when Team Rocket were participating in the lower divisions, like Division 8, Division 7. So seeing them in Division 3 now is actually, it's kind of cool. Admit, uh, admittedly, uh, I'm not fully knowledgeable on uh the majority of their players obviously there are some names i recognize but can't yeah. say uh, the same for all of them yeah some of them are former opponents of ours um formerly eu2 members from when we mm -hmm. were d3 but yeah so i haven't really played against a lot of these players either so yeah you're saying room is starting now yeah is that like is that like a scuffed up luigi on me in the back with like a absolutely tiny face shrunk down face i'm not sure uh, maybe yeah. maybe it just looks similar but it, it, it has i mean look at it it's, 
<laughs> I think that definitely is. Right, that that might actually be a Luigi on me, but small. Yeah, so. he, he, well, he's going for Toad Harbor. He's got a mind of his own, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure who that would be, but no, yeah, we'll, we'll find we'll out. Now. We will, yeah. DK Jungle. It's more. DK Jungle. Oh, is it? Okay. All right. Well, we'll find out now, anyway. So. Yeah, DK Jungle on the side of Exodus. Meanwhile, uh, we can assume Team Rocket got quite a lot of mid to bottom spots, uh, deciding to opt for Twisted Mansion, which it which it is going to pick. Yeah. Ah, uh, Moy, no, we swapped off. Yeah, Moy swapped Damn. off. <laughs> I was looking forward to that. <laughs> it was Moy with <laughs> the, the tiny Luigi on. Uh, a Wario Scooty, it'll be interesting to know who that is, because that'll help us determine spots a little better. So just having yes. a load of Waluigi's. Um, this is Surgish's POV, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so how many people... Wow, stream in second by Chris. Um, how how this first turn goes can actually be pretty damn important for the rest of the race. Uh, we see, I think that might be quite a lot of Exodus in the top middle. I see Horpy, I think, is up in first right now. Or yeah, around Hoppy's first place. Me, so that'll be really helpful. The Wario is Chris Jin, mm. I believe. Or at least one of the Warriors is. If there are multiple, I can't really tell. Because uh, of the mini-map. Uh, spots seems fairly mixed. I don't really think there's any determined spots. Like, how you just got hit out? No, so yeah, I, I'm starting to think quite a lot of Exodus are slowly but surely trying, uh, gonna yeah. are getting hit out. That might be a top... Yeah, that's a top two for Team Rocket right now. But 345 might all have shrooms, and yeah, indeed they do. They do. The triple and greens. The triple might greens could do... Damage here. Uh, oh, the oh. boomerang, though! Coming out of sick, seemingly oh, nowhere. Uh, Okay, uh, so how- okay. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, that was kind of jank. It didn't even look like okay. he was in first. That looks like that was top two for Exodus. Halpy is back there. He might be going for shock. I'm unsure of- He doesn't seem to be far back enough, so I think he just was kind of back there. I believe Exodus is top two, if I'm not mistaken. Um, um. yeah, it's kind of- Oh, that boomerang. It's kind of hard to tell right now. There's a lot of them in the mid pack, uh, so- What's good for them is if they don't already have shrooms, they can get shrooms now. There's a red going for someone. Yeah. Um, I can see everyone. Like to cut. Uh, so that's why yeah, they they, yeah, they've kind of broken away, it seems. Um, triple greens from Alex in fifth might do some uh, dirty work to Chris. Uh, he's going to opt to go on a, uh, an on opposite path. <laughs> but he don't, don't think he expected the fire, which somehow is not connecting. Wow, I'm surprised. We do see a very late blue. That is going to connect before the line, uh, I believe. Oh, it's going to be close. Right at the end. Oh, it looks like Matt hit on the was line. Second. Oh, oh, it did, yeah, it but it, it didn't matter. For, it was a top two for uh, Exodus right there. Yes. So we were correct on our assumption. That's a, a really good oh. race to start. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a top three, five, six, eight. Flying out of the gates. That's like a plus 26 race or something. Yeah. Maybe even more, honestly, because that's you the know, bottom you, fourth and Team Rocket. Yeah, you mentioned like the first turn being so important, and the fact that it was Christian that got like the shroom in second. Like I think, like just there, that sealed it because no one was going mm. for shock. I'm unsure why TR didn't opt to go for shock. Thank you to Cheeto X O eighty eight. Um, <laughs> I'm unsure why they didn't opt to go for shock. Cause even the only person that maybe was at distance was Halpy, but I don't think Halpy would have been going. I think Halpy was perhaps holding blue. That's why he was back there. Um, I didn't see that. No, yeah, that that is possible. Call it TR Esports. All right. Um, so we'll see. Okay, it seems to be a mix of tracks. I, I can't even tell. Like, it seems like the teams weren't. Decided half of Exodus decided for Ice Ice Outpost while the other half went Mount Wario, I think. Uh... Yeah, I think so. Going to Ice Ice Outpost though, we don't see this track very often at all. I don't think there are some teams which like to uh, which like to pick it. I would like to say is like drafty track as like a drafty track. We see first place burning out. That's uh. That's it, not going to be good for Exodus. It's a weird one because it's not a very popular track. I think that's the mm. key that no one actually knows how to play it. Uh, or no one knows <laughs> what it's picked for because no one likes it. Um, with good reason in my opinion, but you know, I won't get into why I don't like this track. Uh, but it seems like a lot of EX got hit out early. 
Uh, yeah, Lucas Lab was the one who burned out. I don't know who's in last. I think that was also an EX member. It's uh, literally our POV Cooper. Oh, wait. I <laughs> He's literally in last right now. See now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's my bad. It's so um, Yeah. So Christian also got hit out. How do yeah, you got... chilling in a mid spot? Someone just got hit out of top four. Yeah, the pack is relatively close. We do see a Waluigi in last stopping for a shock though. Uh, I would imagine that's quite a lot of um, TR in top spots in that case. Um, holding down quite a lot at the top. Uh, and as you can see with those tri uh, triple greens courtesy of Moy. Uh, that's going to deal even more damage. Is that actually like a top four? Um, I don't think so. I saw I saw um, Juni, I believe, is in currently in second or third, uh, with Halpy coming up to support. A very slight, I'm very unsure. slight glimpse. Yeah, I'm unsure who is in first though. That would oh. really help. Oh, okay, Max. This star is. Max is opting to schlag. Uh, I wish I would have paid attention where that blue came from. That would have told us who was in first. Okay. Good, Good fire. fire. Taken out both. Yeah, both um, Exodus members there. I think you might be okay. I think it was top four briefly until uh, Lucas came up in the stars. I think I think top two right now is TR. Um, yeah, I think it's safe to say TR definitely do have uh, the majority of decent spots this race. Uh, I mean, you can see them. They're currently seven, eight. Quite a lot of people are being taken out of the last corner though. I'm not sure who that is with a horn. Didn't see um, didn't see their name tag. But oh, never mind. Excuse me, what? Yeah, I completely blank. I was trying to remember who I hadn't seen all race. And Top three, was, five from Exodus. I was correct on saying uh, Juni, though. That was the person I did see in second, but I missed completely missed Zuox, and that's uh, my bad. A uh, fifty-point deficit immediately for the, TR here. Um, I mean, to be to be fair to you, Cooper, I I was under the impression that um, TR were. Um, in possession of quite a lot of the top spots as well, but apparently I was wrong. Unless quite a lot of all those um, people who died at the last turn were TR, which is entirely possible. But, um, but yeah, a top three five for Exodus. As you said, that's 50 points now in favor of Exodus just after two races. So that is a huge, huge deficit to come uh, to come back on. They've got 10 races to do so. Um, they have time. But it's uh they, they the time is limited. They have ten races to make up fifty points, which isn't impossible. They only have to average like less than six points lead every race or something like that. If I, my mm. math is right. Um <laughs> It's I have no clue, but uh, I'm too lazy to bring up a calculator. But GD here, <laughs> this is uh, EX's pick. A very interesting pick. Considering their spots, they not opting for RWS seems odd. But I, I respect it in a way, you know, like break the mold, you know, do new things instead of just going whatever. I mean, I mean, yeah, the thing is with Mario Stadium, as I'm sure quite a lot of people are aware, is you can get bumps out of turn one, turn two quite easily. And with Gumball Volcano, it's, I don't think it's quite as hectic um, as the first few corners of uh, Mario Stadium as we see uh, a shroom and a red. Besides, that's a lot of shrooms being occupied by mid to top spots right now. Um, yeah. We did, we did see a horn go off, and oh my good god, how did he avoid all that fire? That was like from the Matrix. This bomb from Exodus could actually do quite a lot of damage. I say that, Sergius is shrooming up. He did drop it. This boomerang. Trying to get Chris. It's not going to connect, and now he's got a bomb of his own. He's going to. I think he took out two of Exodus there. I had to like double check like real quick. Oh wow, there are boomerangs going around everywhere. There's actually so much happening in such a short frame of time. I can't, like, it's, it's hard to keep up with all of this. Right, a boomerang and a red in second. I can't remember who, can't, cannot remember who that is in first, but that is at least a three, four for Exodus. Three, four, five, I think actually. Um, I think first is lagging. Yeah, that would be that would be a bit embarrassing to fall off in first. Very nice backspan from Sergius to take out Horpy there, but that's only one of many Exodus members um, who seem to be stalking Sergius right now. A star in second that's going to be activated, and all these reds. Oh, I think the second one actually might have broke on the. Maybe the second one probably something. broke on the lighter. 
Yeah, I broke on something. A blue's coming out. I imagine someone was probably holding that, but oh, he's going to get redded off into the drink. A very spicy drink, and he's going to be sent right down. Well, not quite to a bottom spot, but a mid spot at best. Yeah, sixth place. That seems like a pretty another good racer, Exodus. Yeah. Three, four, five, seven. Or, yeah, two, three, four. Two, three, four, seven tops. Six, oh, was it two, three, four? Sorry. Tied for fifth. Yeah, those or yeah, two, three, four. Oh yeah, sorry, my bad. Two, three, two, four, three, four seven. seven. Ten, twelve. That's. I think that's like a plus a two, plus four. Race. It's a tie race. Okay. Um, good on Sergi for holding mm. the fort. And yeah, if first. yeah, Sergi was kind of gone that race. It seemed. Uh, I definitely like as soon as um, as soon as uh, lap two started, he was he. He seemed pretty comfortable, and if uh, TR were holding blue, then uh, he didn't really have to worry about all that much, apart from just a bunch of reds, which luckily didn't uh, come his way. Uh, but yeah, if he did not get first, that would have been a much different... Yeah. Extra um, hopping for the the premier German drafting track in RCCV, um, which is very interesting. I think that's interesting, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's only German teams that pick this track a lot right am i right on saying that like well when exodus well well, we, well yeah that, that has the thing right as we said at the start um there are a few i think a couple of um old wheelie clan members in this lineup and they absolutely loved cheap cheap beach as a track uh i so, can't actually say for sure if inferno like this track or not i'm sure they do but now, I mean, it's a good track. It's just, you know, not as is popular it though? in general. Is it though, Cooper? Uh, I, I think it's pretty solid. <laughs> it's not as popular in general compared to tracks like ED or Dolphin Shoals for the spots that they yeah. got. And obviously, Soul or our team picks things like Big Blue and N64 Rainbow Road. Um, looking like Surgish might opt to bag this race, uh, depending on the spots. Yeah, he's using mm. his gold in here just to get rid of it. I'm thinking that basically indicates that um, T or not TR sorry EX is in most of the top spots um, although he kind of screwed up his golden and made it so like he just went through sets I don't know if he actually is bagging or if he's just going through boxes hey, I, no I don't quite think he's at distance um, so who is that right behind him four. I think it's be careful four for TR I think this oh, I is the TR member behind him yeah, it's the Spanish flag, so TR is currently bottom four, so that does in yeah. Oh, is that a shock? I think I just saw a shock in... That's a star. That's a star, okay. You might could be a shock after. behind it, we don't know. Yeah, that's what He's holding his crazy eight for a very long time, yeah, though. Yeah, it must be a shock in play, then. That would make the most amount of sense. And we see a star being held in ninth as well. Uh, he goes into his star. Yeah. There it is, yeah. Shot coming out from TR Esports as his shrooms get Ooh. yoinked. Luckily, he gets another one for compensation, but... Yeah. Someone you used... See Goes two, three, top three actually. Moy was yeah. in first, just like that. Wow, the pack was relatively, uh, relatively. Moy with this horn here might cause a lot of damage just to completely screw over top four. Top four, <laughs> and that's yeah. Hoppy getting, uh, Hoppy denying a top five, I believe. Um, oh. a top four, bottom two. That's a plus fourteen or a plus sixteen, if I remember correctly. Yeah, plus sixteen, I think, is the exact number. Yeah, it's plus sixteen. So, only down 34 now after a GP, so that's much more yeah. doable of a difference. Um, I mean, it I, it really does go to show, right, how... I don't, I don't want to say overpowered Sharks are, but... I don't know, let, it can definitely, um, it can definitely Make swing... Or yeah, it can definitely uh, swing the momentum so easily from one team to another. Hey, we're top six on, I don't know... Wario Stadium, and then tenth from the other team can be like I have Shark, and then if the pack is relatively close, the team who are in top six are kind of screwed because if none of them can get dodges, if they got shocked after boxes. So you know, I'm just using Wario Stadium as an example, but then they're yeah. screwed. Yeah, well, I mean, you could just do the big brain play of pulling a ghost in fifth, you know, using it. Like, yeah, as you do, like Cooper, as you do. Forehead, <laughs> but uh, interesting track pick here. Uh, Considering they got top four, I or considering TR got top four, this is Exodus's pick. Um, an odd choice. Don't underestimate that yeah. 
uh, that ending shortcut, dude. You can shave a lot of time from that. Uh... And as we know from a recent Twitter clip, it is possible to do it shroomless. It's slower, but <laughs> yeah. you shroomless, so yeah. keep that in mind. And obviously, one of the main things, we see bananas being dunked. <laughs> um, the, the the main thing to consider here is the is the gigantic glider section, right? Because if you going back onto the topic of sharks, if you target shark um, a team on the glider, that is a lot of time lost. Uh, yeah, but well, very that's slow. Exactly what uh, Surges is opting, which means I, that, I'm pretty sure that indicates that most top spots, because like Halfie is right now in second or third mm. or something. I see that me. I think that indicates like a top three or even a top four. Yeah. Mario is in fourth for Exodus. Yeah, right Moya's now. stopping as well. I mean, if they did that last race, then why can't they do it again? Am I right? Yeah. How big got yeah, hit? It's, at, it's at least a bottom three. Yeah. We do see. Um, Maxi's back here. But... Yeah, we do see Maxi in ninth right now, but it, it's safe to say that quite a lot of the top spots are in favor of. Exodus going into lap three, a blue is being shot out. Let's see if our Moy drops because that would give us an indication of who. Now Kristen's not dropping, which means they're at least top three. Oh, oh, oh wow! <laughs> the entire room is just getting slaughtered right now. That's yeah. definitely shuffled up the spots, I'm sure. This plant not going to do much because Maxi was able to get a ghost, so he's just going to have to use this and hope get he's a. He's going to have to pray he gets a shroom here, which he does. Yeah. He gets three of them, in fact. Triple greens behind him. Quite a lot of... Oh, oh no, he's gonna oh, get bumped! Oh, that bump. sucks! Oh, no. <gasps> that's so unfortunate. He was getting like fourth. He lost five spots on the line because of that, and that just sealed a, yeah. another huge race for Exodus. One, three, four, five, seven, ten. I think that was indeed it was. I mean, even if that didn't happen, it was it was kind of guaranteed to be a good race for Exodus, but <laughs> it certainly doesn't help. Yeah. Losing I mean, so I'm, many spots to something like that. I'm confused as to where his shrooms went because he had like, he had three, right? Am I am I crazy saying that? Did he spam them? That's what I was thinking. Like I know he used one before the cut, one in the cut. I'm wondering where his third one went. Um, that's just that's just my confusion. Uh, but I mean, I mean it's he spammed them. Yeah, uh, it was the end of the race. Him. He probably think it didn't matter. Yeah, Which, well, I mean, I mean, to be well, fair, the person that bumped him off kind of just appeared. Like, he wasn't really <laughs> there. Like, I just kind of like, yeah. there's a Waluigi and he just got sent off, so... Uh, it's not often you see that happen, that when it does, when it, it's right behind the finish line, it's, it's basically the same as just getting blued on the line and everyone else is passing you. It's got the same effect. Yeah, it's got the same effect. Uh, the same gutting cool. feeling as well. Yeah, it's just like, oh my gosh, we're getting too forward. Oh my god. Now, now we've got like bomb right? <laughs> plus 10, like yeah. But now we're playing uh, Dry Dry Desert, the certified bagging track that exists in this game. Um, we'll see if Surgish opts to bag or if he's going to let his teammates do it. Dude, I'm not going to lie. He's streaming. Okay. Looks yeah, like he, he might run. Oh, he went in between the boxes. <laughs> yeah, missing a box for a set. Yeah. Every, so, time, uh, every time this track is showed on stream all i can think of uh, shout out to, to royal is the classic twitter uh, twitter clip yeah <laughs> now this track has a lot of sand and to be fair he's not wrong there's sand oh. everywhere you look and even in the background and um oh nice piano yeah so oh, just kind of getting clapped by chris three four oh here comes the blue. here it comes yeah. it's 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 going we see chris go. going through the cut just with the, just oh, with a shroom, shroomless, okay. so he can hold his. Oh, the green though. Nah, no, he's fine. Yeah, it's yeah. Top two for Exodus. Although this is desert, so top two on a bagging track, on something like, especially like desert, because like some bagging tracks, if you're top two on, it's actually worth it. Things like RMC, like I'll, I'll argue that running RMC is actually worth it. I mean, even yeah. in but like this track, dude, like being top two means absolutely nothing. Because there's currently three bills that got used, which means there's probably a shock in play. I saw three bills on the mini map, so my question is: is who has shot, and when is it going to get? Of, yeah, there are lots of people in dodges right now. As the blue is on its way uh, for Chris, that's uh, a second blue now in two laps. Chris is just going to tank the hit here. Yeah, he, he can dodge the first one, but he definitely can't dodge the second one. That's now a one-three for TR Esports, and oh. there's a shock. Two so bills dodged. 
Yeah, do see a couple of people dodging in a bill. Who is this first person? That was Moy, that's Moy. Well, they're going very slowly. <laughs> now, I'm unsure if that shock was calculated or if one team had shock for a really, really long time and just didn't use it. Um, so they just kind of spammed it and said, oh, 3, 2, 1, activate, which is the optimal play. Top two for... Oh, looks like it's not going to be top two for very long. Oh, blue shell. A third unless blue he... shell. Yeah, unless he pulls like a clutch horn here. What is this, MK Wii? Three, sh three blues in a race? Yeah, I think Perijan's guaranteed a bad spot with everyone getting shrooms, everyone in stars. Here comes Chris. It's not looking good for him. To be fair, Sergius might be able to hold on to first. He does. He looks a little bit scuffed, but he managed to get it. Yeah. And Chris getting second. Like two, three, four? Yeah, two, three, four, six, seven, nine. Yeah, for bottom PX three. Or... For, the, for TI Esports, and yeah, as I said, Perijon, after getting blued, it just went downhill, and he actually got 11th. So, uh, very yeah, unfortunate for him. There, it's like, that's an L. You're not winning. Like, you can't win there. Because... Yeah, you, 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 don't, you don't even need to finish that sentence, dude. Like... You just can't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, just, it's, it's, it's dry, dry desert getting blued at that turn. Like, you're not winning. Like, oh, man. Because yeah. Although, as we can see, uh, Sergish did the Mogi special, and if you don't know what that is, it's a c term I've coined just now, because I just felt like it. Someone did DC, by the way. Um, but it's a, t it's a term I've coined, I think that was Alex. But, um, mm. yeah, it was. Uh, it's a term I coined just now, and that's like when you run a bagging track and you still finish in, like, top four, because the entire room decided to bag, right? And you just get have such a massive lead that you're able to maintain a top spot anyway, right? Like, like I'm sure everyone's had that experience of like running yeah. first on desert and being like half a lap, three quarters of a lap ahead, and even getting blued twice isn't enough to knock you out of top three. Uh, media green coming out for Sirjish, so that puts I think TR in bottom four or something, or mm, eight bottom three. Oh, yeah, or close to it. Uh, uh -huh. th no, there's someone back here from Exodus yeah. in uh, They're kind of chilling with the Dolphins in 11th, which, you know, fair do. They've got three laps. I think that was that Chris under the <laughs> under the eel there? I'm not yeah, quite my sure. Man, my man he did, did some sort of eel, eel inspection or something, I don't know. He did the 8U strat where you drift off the ramp and then, like, get a, a SMT under the eel so that you can fire hop, but he failed it, so. <laughs> Step under the yeah. eel. Get good. Uh, we did see someone get hit off, so that, now they're in last. Didn't quite see who it is, but um, the pack is relatively tight. You can just see by the mini map, and this yeah. boomerang in seventh. No one's getting a bill. Uh, that should be noted. <laughs> yeah. So someone's bagging. Yeah, uh, Waluigi in last is probably getting a bill, and that should be the only person. Um, now, interest. It'll be interesting to see what he decides to do with this bomb. If I were him, yeah, I just like just casually just toss oh. this. Oh, never mind. He got back spam. Um, it right. might not have even been a back. It might have been someone behind him. Yeah, possibly. Not sure. Oh, oh yeah, well, either way he got hit and uh, so now he's kind of uh, sleeping with the fishes in 10th. That bomb is going to connect with 11th. Poor guy. Must have been an EX member. Well, well, uh, oh yeah, you would assume so, right? <laughs> There's a build that was used relatively early in last. Blue show. Which makes me think... Okay, that was a blue, I think that came. I was going to say they may have shock. Uh, it's still a pretty... You can see, like, everyone here. Triple greens coming up for Sergius. It's uh, connecting with some... Oh, no! <laughs> he gets greened himself. Oh, that's terrible. Right, Horpy is sneaking into first. Last uh, thing to be using anything. I think that may actually be... Oh, never mind. That's a star. Yeah. I was going to probably shock, but no. Perijon kind of nicking his box there. There's a couple of Exodus back here. Chris bites the dust from a banana, but it's... Mm, Halpy's in second. Uh, yeah. Be... I think this might actually be top two for EX. Uh, we'll see. Oh, that bomb! Completely destroying Lucas, I think that was. Top two, nothing? Uh, depending. Top oh, two, top three, four. Uh, that's yeah. A, yeah, top two, four, bottom three. Okay. Yeah. It's like a plus two, right? Plus four. Uh, plus four, I want to say. Uh, um, yeah, a... plus two. Dang. Man, I can't count. Shade. I, th I thought I thought top three, bottom three was uh was a vice. So bad. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I mean, if you're Exodus, you know, you yeah. are perfectly. Yeah, but yeah, you're up by what seventy with uh, five races to go, was it? So yeah. um, so you are perfectly fine with getting like tire yeah. e even like small losing races. You're perfectly fine because. Because uh, TR Esports, they've got to make a move, like, now. If they really want to 
catch up. They gotta get um, this difference to under 50 by, like, they probably have to get this difference to under 50 by race to going into race 9. Or, I mean, never mind, sorry, I thought this was half, but, like, going into, like, the last three races, they probably want this difference to be under 50, so that it's much more doable. Even under 40 would be optimal. Um, so yeah. we'll see if they're able to do that. Yeah. They might go under 50 if they win this race by over 20. So... Every race counts, dude. Like, <laughs> you could be like down a hundred with six to go, and then you can be like, you know what? This next race, we're top going to be the one. And then you can just get top six, and then boom, you're down by forty. You've got the momentum. Number twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Top six of your race. Oof. That green's going to connect with uh, both Maxi bad. and Sergish. Oh, there was a Nana that Maxi hit as well. Sergish wanting to go for coins, but Halpy said no, and then oh. he hit the frog. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think there's someone else that also said no. Um, the frog. Maxi. Yeah, it is. So, a lot of bottom spots for EX right now, because Christian and Halfy are both back here. Uh, so, this might actually be pretty good for TR. I'm not sure, though, because all I see are Waluigi's. Okay, that's a TR member that just got hit. Yeah, that's Nando. We know, we know uh, so there's Horpy going into a ghost. There's at least three of Exodus, I think, in the bottom five spots. Yeah. Right. So, we'll see what Sojus can pull. He pulls a bullet bill. Eh, he can use it here, and it'll get him to, like, you know, after the ramps. He's going to yeah. opt to save it. I think he's going to use it here instead. Yeah, yeah, in the cup. I mean, I mean yeah, you, you, you either use it in the cup. We see Chris holding blue. Um, you either use it on the cut or, like, around where the bridge is, so. Okay, so Chris is holding blue, which means looks like EX's top is like one nothing, because there's like four EX back here. Mm. Uh, five actually. I think that's every single. I think I think yeah. Real EX member. That's that's probably like a two, three, four, five or something for yeah. a TR. So uh, if Exodus loses that first place, that could spell yeah. trouble. Yeah. Like at this point, even if like Exodus, oh we have blue, just throw it if I get out yeah. of first. Like I mean, TR is all back. Yeah, exactly. I don't think they have a horn or something in those spots somewhere. Like, uh, but we'll see. Uh, there are two TR members back here. It should be noted. So maybe it's mm. not as dominant as we think. But we'll see. Oh, that's a bomb that just went off from first. It looks like they were trailing a bomb. So it looks like Exodus isn't able to last minute yeah. pop something back. Chris uh, finally. Throws his blue. Uh, oh no! <laughs> Goodbye, Sergish. Um, Chris, he probably thought he was getting last place as he threw the blue, but no. He was gifted a spot from the Mario Kart gods. And yeah, it's a 1, 5, 7, 8, 9, 11. We were kind of right. It was it was practically 1-0. Um, yeah. Because I do think uh, Horpy uh, did manage to get up to 5th. In yeah, the that, later stages of that race. So. Yeah, that was the winning race for TR, but only by two, which just really isn't enough at this point. They really need, like, it's one not. massive race to bring themselves back. They're running out of time, simply put. Yeah. They've got four races to to make practically 70 points still, so, yeah. so if they want to win. So. If they can win this next race by 30, they'll be really set, because only making up, like, 30-ish points difference in three is much easier to do. Uh, I mean, it's still hard though because they still have to continuously win races. But I'm thinking like Exodus right now just has to damage control really. Like they just like if they get one five like these races like this, Exodus doesn't care. It's like oh well, two points, whatever. We'll we'll lose a oh, yeah wait. yeah. They'll just take it on the they'll just take it like a kiss on the cheek, dude. They don't care. Yeah. So if anything is a gift to them. Yeah, it's a gift to not get completely screwed yeah by a race so exodus is riding high but of course you can't get com they cannot get complacent because if they think they've already won that's when uh tr brings out the top six on n64 rainbow road mm -hmm. so you just gotta watch out for that th here um this is exodus's pick i believe yeah we just see some of them exodus uh burning out early so uh oh. so that's that could be uh some front presence uh lost from them TR needs a huge race here. If they get like a tie race or worse, a losing race, then it's looking almost over for them at that point. Yeah. We'll see what they can do though, because Toad Harbor, it's it's another track you don't see all that often. It's one of the longest tracks in the game. Not a huge amount of off-road to cut off, apart from obviously the final oh, cor uh, yeah. corner, but, but yeah. 
Yeah, it's a very odd track. It's like it's not a strange a one. popular one. Um, seems like they're three, four, five, six behind Exodus here for TR. Okay, I was like don't. Yeah, make sure. Hard. Yeah, make sure not to hold that blue. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh. oh, they both got taken out. Yeah, they both got hit. Looking like 1-3, maybe top 2. I, I can't tell where Christian is behind him. Fire in first is really good. Um, yeah, but the thing is, he's got, he's got a couple of teammates behind him. Chris is there, but it's it's not worth throwing it back. Oh, he, no, no, you no, know, no. He just holds because, this. Well, now. yeah. I mean, Chris might get taken out, you know, by, via other means, so... Yeah, because it looks like, I'm thinking it's like top two, four, five, or something like that for TR. So, like, Chris is in a mm. really bad spot. He's really in a kind of sandwich. Like, he can't really take out seconds. If he does, he puts himself at risk of getting clapped out from behind. So, <laughs> we'll see. I'm unsure of the bottom spots right now. I see Halpy in, like, a mid-ish spot. There's a blue coming. There's a blue, and there's not but much think, he can... Yeah, second had oh. a horn. That's what I thought. Yeah, second had a horn. And Christian just got hit out. This might actually be really good here for TR. I don't think anyone's been... Oh, no, that's Zuox behind him. Okay, I think he's going to backfire here. Yeah, I saw the Belgian flag. Don't think I didn't. Oh, Here's no, the... never mind. Here comes yeah. the red. He's going to be forced to back it now. Just to hope this lasts for another red if there's another one that comes. Okay, oh, Surge is... Oh, this could be awkward. No, okay, he good. got it. Nice. Okay. So, well Surge is getting first. We'll see what looks like behind. I see Halpy and Chris. Someone and took cut to get second there. Uh, we'll see. That could be a good race from uh, TR. It is a 1 race. 3 4 5. That's the race they needed. A 1 3 4 5 10 11. The 10 11 kind of sucks, but, yeah, but you know, a 1 3 4 5 is pretty it's huge. A 12 point winning race. Unfortunately, Zuwax was able to damage control that because if that was a top four, that would have been really good. They wouldn't have won that race by, I think, over 20, perhaps. Mm. Um, so it's a good start. It's a good start. And now they're down in the 50s with three races left, which is a little uncomfortable of a position to be in. You're going to have to win races by, like, I think 18 on average, which is a lot. So hopefully they're able yeah. to win this. Hopefully capitalize on this. That's what they're opting for. They're going to capitalize on this going for... This track pick could be, uh, I think, is very, very important. Because yeah. if they get the stadium there and uh, they get to keep the majority of their top... Presence, yeah, that's my... then this could be the start of what could be a pretty damn incredible comeback. Yeah, I'd also like to, uh, like to uh, point out someone in chat just said, "quote Can any character beat Waluigi?" Um, I would just quickly like to say, uh, no. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, well, it's gonna pick Wario Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is pretty good for Sergish. Uh, if he can uh, keep, as long as he doesn't get redded out the first set, yeah. then, or, or bumped out, you know, either or really, as I said uh, um, a few races ago, bumps are pretty. Or, or he oh, can just I'm take bored. himself out with the wall, you know, that works too. Yeah, okay, in case that person is actually wondering uh, why oh Waluigi God. is the meta, um, it's because French and Japanese players use Waluigi, uh, but <laughs> he basically has the best stat variation and you can see the most of the screen with him compared to characters that are in his uh, weight class category which are also in this game donkey kong and roy so mm. yeah i mean honestly character selection doesn't matter as much as like actual lines and driving skill but waluigi is just like the most optimal one that people have found uh for this game so it's sort of like how Funky Kong on MK Wii, it's not really Funky Kong that matters, it's the it's the bike itself, rather it's the Bowser mm. bike or the Flame Runner. It's this is a, I hate to interrupt, this is a hard bottom four right now. Yeah, it is. This is, this is like yeah, 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 I hate to, as I, as I, I was talking. hate to, um, you know, uh, intrude on your MK Wii <laughs> fantasies, but, you know, we're kind of playing MKD right now and uh, TR not looking good. They're bottom, bottom five, five now. They're yeah. bottom five. And there's a blue coming out for whoever's in first, which obviously will be an Exodus member just being thrown by last in the first place. Yeah, uh, we'll see if last uses anything on this set. I think last might have shot because they didn't stop on last set. So do they take cut? They do not. There oh, you go. There it is. Yeah. Moy coming there up in the shot. dodge. Nando coming up I... in the dodge. I'm not a huge fan of when they use shock because that puts all of Exodus on these boost panels here. Yeah, I was just um, about to point that out. And also, you know, not only the boost panels, but also the items as well. Yeah, um, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe they thought they were too far back and they just 
had to catch up now or else they were completely screwed. There's, There's not anymore. Look at this pack. Oh my good god. Yeah. Oh, that bomb! Okay, he, yeah, Surgish opted to just toss himself to the side. I think a bomb here to finish isn't very good because he probably wanted to cut. Oh, that's a lot of TR back here. I think this is curtains, perhaps. Maybe. Um, they won the ra Oh, that looks like a curtain to me. 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, 10, I think? 9 or 10? Not Exodus? quite. It's their okay, well, let's put it this way. TR is not, not mathematically out, but they need to win the next two races by literally like 36? No, 37-ish, which means they have to win by 38 and then 36. Yeah, let's just... Okay, so. let's just say, so the kind of situation they're in right now, they're out, but they're not out. Yeah. So, like, they can like, still win with two even if gigantic they, if they top races. four here, they still need to get something like top five, uh, eight to win afterwards. So, uh, yeah, that sounds about right. So, and actually that's to tie, by the way. The figure I gave was to tie. To actually win, they need to average... Um, like literally 30. They need to average top 5 7 these next two races. Uh, hmm. RMC GBA Circuito Mario is the track for race 11. I mean, if there's going to be a track, <laughs> if there's a track, right, where TR are going to be able to get like a huge ass race, if they pull a shock, yeah, I then, mean, you know, it, it, it could like. It could uh, warrant like a top four, top five. Uh, we, don't, don't we, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know, but I mean, honestly, at this point, like, pretty shock I line think track. TR might just be really demoralized. Like, who knows? Maybe they're really pumped. They're like, we're getting two top sixes in a row, uh, which would be fine. <laughs> I don't think that's ever actually happened in an official capacity, like an MKU or anything, like, ever. I mean, Ooh. I might be wrong on that. I haven't been around long enough to know. Um, or my uh, MKU historians might be able to say. But uh, okay, I think so. we'll see. But, but I don't know if this is the track to top six on because honestly, a bagging track like this, Exodus just gets shock, right? And they're, I'm like, oh, I have a start. Okay, perfect. Three, two, one, activate, right? Because they don't yeah. care. They don't care. They just can't, like, they just have to not let TR get top five, right? So, um, <laughs> they could get one bottom five via like a that, gigantic would, they would shock. They would win. They would literally yeah. win with that. So, like, it's like one bottom five is like an 18 or like a 20 ish point difference which isn't enough uh to mm. win to so. make matters worse we did just see uh nando getting blued out of first so that could yeah i don't know i think that is exodus in first uh and that's two three four four tr chris is kind of uh barging into fifth with his mushrooms uh, paratron's not using this red though i think this might actually be top four but i mean again that's literally not quite enough we'll see we'll see if he uses this red here then no, he doesn't, see, because... Uh, no, Nando maybe it's top four, yeah. It's the top four right now for uh, TR. Maybe they'll be able to preserve their dignity, not lose by asthma. Oh, 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 oh he's yeah. screwed. He's... Oh, oh, well, how? Yeah, he... Literally how? Yeah, he <laughs> he made it, out, but he still lost a spot. Yeah, that's that's GG's. Yeah. That's not enough. <laughs> it's, it's a very good race. But... It's a very good race, but that's just that's just not enough. I actually cannot believe he... Chris was, like, staring into his soul with triple reds, and mm -hmm. he, he, he just he just gave the fence a couple kisses, and then he just kind of went on with his day and got fifth, so I actually don't know how he managed to secure fifth, but yeah. That's going to be it, then. Exodus, uh, okay, uh, Exodus up by in. 54. With one race to go, it is now uh, bar a repick, which is not going to happen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, ma it's mathematically impossible. For TR Esports to um, get this. TR Esports, unfortunately, after a very strong week one, they're going to be going 0-2 uh, on this second yeah. week. They, they lost kind of hard to StarClan as well. StarClan had a 20-point penalty, and they still... Like, StarClan still beat TR by... Okay, eight. dude, alright. No need to expose them. Yeah. But, like, TR has had a rough week this week. I don't know if the mentality wasn't there. Scrims, it happens. Scrims this week... It happens. I mean, everyone knows it happens. But Exodus able to bounce back from their loss that they had. Um, so Exodus is going to be going 3-0-1, which I think puts them in the lead in their conference, almost as a guarantee, because I don't think, like, unless a team in their yeah, conference, know, which is probably. possible. Um, I could check, but I'm kind of lazy. But, well, actually, I'll check since, uh, hang on. I'll look and see. <laughs> 
was um, actually curious. All right. Um, I mean, the going. Oh, that red was unfortunate. Yeah. Um, going three zero and one oh, does sorry. sound I'm, like. I'm completely wrong. Tr did not go two and zero last week. That was to a star like La Tostada, the uh, Goomers team or Nair's team. Uh, my apologies. Uh, Tr is actually a one and three. Ooh. Uh, with this. So. Okay. Well. Uh... That, that, that kind of makes matters a little bit worse. Uh, they've got six more matches to come back if they want to make a... if they want to reach playoffs, but... Oh, yeah. I mean, there's not exactly the... Game, but... Yeah, not exactly the start they would have wanted. No. Oh. Did Chris just... Yeah, Chris just fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Taking uh, the super bounce strat. Uh, that's kind of funny. Uh, no shot. He, 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 was, he was kind of there, and then he wasn't. There's actually a decent amount of Exodus back here. I think that is TR in last, but... That's 8, 9, 11 yeah. for Exodus. It doesn't look like a shock's in play unless it was like just pulled that last set. We'll yeah. see. That is, that is a... A lot of Exodus back here is, I think. Hmm. But we'll see. I mean, maybe, yeah, TR... It's unfortunate that TR is getting their really good races, like races 11 and 12, when they need more than just really good. They need basically perfect races. Um, so, uh, well, Parajon's come back down here. Uh, we'll see if maybe Sturgis will be able to boost his indivs here. Um, Blue Shell coming out. I think that was from Christian. Ooh. So I think that see was you later, I Lucas. Okay, Star got used. He's. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think they got. No, he got hit off. I think. Uh, whoever got blue, uh, they they tried slowing down, but they couldn't slow down enough. Lots of carnage going on in the last. The last couple of straights, these triple greens, um, doing some work perhaps. Yeah. Top two, yeah. seven, eight, bottom two, four. Tr. Tr esports. Which I think puts the difference. That's a tied race. So minus so minus fifty four is the end uh, of, uh, of excuse me of that. So congratulations to Exodus on winning the match. Um. Good they job, uh, one. yeah. GG's to TR for uh, for playing, uh, trying their best. Uh, didn't, I guess the, this week just wasn't their week. Yeah, as we um, said uh, during that last race, they're not out of it. They've got plenty of time. They've got six matches. If they go six and zero and finish like you know seven uh, seven and three, then <laughs> that's like you know mm -hmm. you're chilling. I mean, obviously that that's that's no. Uh, that's no easy task, but you never know. You, you never know. Yeah. Uh, so I think that concludes. I don't know if like the rest of there's anything that's interesting that happened in the rest of D3. Uh, TT is now 4-0. I think that's the only team in D3 with a perfect record. Mm. Good job uh, to them. So other than that, though, I don't see anything in particular worth noting. Um... Yeah, well, I mean, Star Clan Solar is now 3 0 and 1 because they went 2 0 uh, this week. So, yeah. Uh, I don't think we have anything else to say. No, I don't think we do. Nothing that really comes to mind and nothing that we're being told about in the media staff yeah, chat. No, no, one, no, one, no one's typing anything in media staff chat. Like, oh, don't forget. Oh, oh, don't forget to announce this. No, okay, no, okay, okay, okay. I, didn't mean, I didn't, like, intend that, like. You know, I didn't intend that to be rude or anything. I'm just better. Please, I want. I please, I want my media staff role. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks a lot. Thank you. Wait, what? Uh, don't kick us off of media staff. <laughs> but anyway, uh, GG's to Exodus. Uh, congrats to them on winning. Um, uh, good luck to everyone uh, in their future match, mm. and good luck to the both teams in their future matches, and hope the best of success for both teams, which is. Probably not going to happen, because, I mean, for one team to be successful, a team has to be unsuccessful, but we hope that the teams today had fun. Uh, it was an interesting war to cast. I enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Thanks all for watching, and peace!